Hello, it's Thursday the 17th. I'm FX Pro and this is the Market Brief. Uh, so UK headline inflation is now at the lowest level since February 2022. The latest drop to 6.8% was driven largely by lower energy prices. The wholesale gas price has been falling steadily uh, since the record high that we saw last August. So inflation has been expected to pull back a bit. But food and energy prices have risen slightly over the past six to eight weeks or so. Uh, so the August inflation data is unlikely to deliver another 1% drop. And don't forget, core inflation is pretty flat at the moment. So that rise may even drive headline inflation a little higher again. Um, producer prices also fell. Uh, that was down to 2.3% from 3.1% in June. Producer prices are what's called a leading indicator. Uh, the data records prices at the factory gates from the producers. So you can see that producer prices is not a complicated naming convention. Um, all these costs then filter through or lead into consumer prices. Hence, it's a leading indicator uh, of future inflation. Um, and therefore, this drop is a positive sign for things to come. But overall, inflation is still too high though. So the Bank of England should raise rates again at their next meeting in September. Uh, but where rates are now restricting demand, speculation has started over when the MPC will pause or indeed end the rate tightening cycle. But most expect rate hikes to continue well into the autumn and possibly out as far as year end. Uh, over in the US, there was improved data from the construction sector. Uh, building permits and housing starts both rose in July after falling for several months prior to that. And it's encouraging news for a soft landing in the US. We also had minutes from the latest Fed meeting out yesterday. They hinted at the end uh, to the rate tightening cycle, but they remained cautious regarding future inflation, noting that upside inflation risks remain for later in the year. As that would need further rate hikes in the future, where the economy still looks robust enough to handle another rate hike without causing a recession, the Fed may just crack on with another rate hike in September to get the job done. Wider market sentiment is for another pause though at the, uh, at the next meeting, but the possibility of another rate hike was enough to drive the dollar index up to about 103.55. That was a sterling sold off from the high of 127.65 against the dollar. Uh, we closed around 127.30 yesterday. Uh, we opened this morning, we're around 127.20 against the dollar, we're about 117 against the euro, and euro dollar is around 108.70 on the open this morning. That's it from me. Have a great day. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.